Hello everybody, uh, I found this yesterday, which is a Lumix 20mm 1.7, four frame equivalent of 40 millimeters. And it's the first lens I ever bought. I was very excited to find this the other day. It filled me with lots of nostalgic feelings. Um, I don't shoot with it an awful lot these days because it's a little bit tight for the kinds of things I like to shoot. But um, I thought I should go out and use it just as a bit of a challenge type thing. So this morning, bright and early, I went to a place called Bakewell and just used one lens to shoot for one hour. And uh, here's how I got on. I think the photos got generally a little bit better the more I woke up. Right then, first mistake of the morning, I've got shorts on. It's absolutely freezing, it's about seven degrees. So that's a good bit of fun. Right, Bakewell. Nobody around yet. 644. I don't know why I'm being drawn to closed signs. Trying to get clever with the uh, the railings, but actually quite difficult. The sweeper's loud. And there's three pigeons lined up. Could do with a much longer focal length, really. Oh, typical. I shouldn't have been chatting away, I guess. The biggest problem I find with street photography is there's incredibly pretty places, but turning that into nice photos, I mean, I guess that's the, the trick with all photography, but when you're not well versed in street photography in particular, then you find problems. It's a bit creepy, actually. Yep, completely missed that. This is another very good example of something that's pretty, but finding compositions, particularly when you're in a rush. It's tough. I actually feel like I'm too early. Could use some people as subjects. Very pretty. I'm sure there's a river around here somewhere. Don't know where. Aha, I can see a bridge. Oh, that's very pretty. Morning. It's a shame it's bin day. Bins everywhere, ruining it. Well, 
If that's not a picture, I don't know what is. Primes are frustrating from time to time. Really frustrating. I don't shoot with primes enough. It's a fantastic tool to uh, sharpen your skills as I've spoken about a lot on this channel. But I don't often heed my own advice. Is that a good use of the word heed? I don't know. Ooh, ducks. Hopefully not territorial ducks. Stay there. That's not gone to plan. Nope, nope, nope. Wet feet, wet feet. I've taken a bit of a risk actually coming over this side of the river since I've only got an hour because I don't know for sure that there's any kind of nice view of the town from this side. I assume there is. But, I mean, the better I'd be because this is going to cost me about 20 minutes. Might not be this way, actually. I've just, I've ended up at a car park. That's not good. Never mind, another day. Back to town. Hmm. I'm going to head up to that church, I think. Awful. I'm trying to work out if time constraints are a useful tool for, uh, for improving. Because ultimately, if you start panicking a bit, like I am now, because I've set this sort of fake deadline, you don't take your time to, uh, to practice your composition which is exactly the opposite point of what I'm trying to focus on. Right, time for a manual stitch, I think. So, manual exposure, uh, manual focus, take a blank shot, and then I can start the stitch. So, with manual exposure, I'll go back to autofocus. I've got back button focus. So I'll just focus on the church, I think. Ooh. And then we'll take some shots. Back to manual focus, blank shot again, and then in Lightroom, I know which shots are the uh, the composite photos, which makes life a bit easier. Oh, this hill's steep. This is pretty, but again, what's uh, what's with the bins? I think what's difficult about places like this, modern cars. Case in point, because all these buildings and this area would have looked exactly the same 100, 200 years ago, but the cars and maybe the bin bags are the giveaway, which is frustrating. Can't begrudge people cars. That's quite funny. It's a pub called the Joiner's Arms and it's all boarded up. It's not a great photo, mind. I think I might try the river again. Emily loves this place. 
Bakewell Pudding Shop. It is amazing actually, I should probably check what time it opens before I leave. Four by four sort of ruins. Peacock. Oh no. Get into a habit doing this sort of stuff of uh, just literally taking photos of buildings, which again is not the purpose of this exercise. You just walk up stuff and snap it when you've only got an hour. That's what you tend to do. And that is the definition of a shortcut. I think. I wonder if down here is a good look at this bridge that I've just walked over. I'd assume so. Is that a spring? I reckon the best view is higher up. That sounds hard going. I should have yeah. definitely just gone round. But if I was a care home manager, I'd be like, I've got enough oh, on my wet plate. Feet, wet, oh, feet, wet feet, wet feet, wet yeah. feet. Yeah. This is the one. That's better. Way too wide though. Which is a shame. I reckon you need probably 50 or 60 full frame equivalent. I think what I'd say I'm finding with this lens, this 20, is that it's just a bit of a, a no man's land when it comes to focal length. It's not quite wide enough to get everything in, uh, but it's also not long enough to get detail shots. And it's not that far departed from like a standard 35. I mean, there's literally five mils in it, obviously, uh, full frame equivalent, but it seems to make all the difference. That's what I'm finding. At least that's my excuse so far for for a lack of decent shots. Maybe this side, I can get a decent view of the bridge. That's a bit better. Wait for the white vans to get out of the way. That overhanging tree just gives a bit more interest as does the curving path. Manual focus. Focus on the ground. I walk through these pigeons and try and get a shot. I assume I'm not gonna be anywhere near wide enough. Got one. I if this tree can help frame that bridge as well. Try longer exposure. Uh, right, I've got about 20 minutes left, I think. What to do, where to go. I probably should have done a bit of research for Bakewell, but um, 
And I think that would have defeated the point a bit as well. Oh, cheating. Right, let's go up here. Morning. Oh yeah. I'm giving myself a lot of cloning to do by coming out on bin day. I know that. Right, and that is a wrap. 7.44. I think I started at 